Hey guys, it's Ashley from Bookholics Anonymous, and this is my top nine books that I loved or um, surprised me in 2020. Now, I will say some of them are like a few were five stars, and then the rest were four stars, but they were so close to being five, I couldn't help myself. So we're gonna go with that. <clears throat> And three of them I don't actually have on me, um, because two of them were audiobooks that I listened to, and I really do want to get the hardcover books for them, or the physical books, I'm sorry, for them. And the other one, I have a physical book for it, I just think it's packed away somewhere, and so I listened to the audio for that as well. But anyways, that's all that. We'll just get on with it. We'll get on with the three that I don't have um, first. And that was, the first one was The Unhoneymooners by Lauren, Christina Lauren. Why did I say that? <sighs> Guys, most of the stuff that I've read by Christina Lauren I have enjoyed and loved. And the characters always are so cute together. Just kind of mesh well. And this one was no exception. It's pretty much about... Um, a girl whose sister is, gets married and her and her husband can't go on the honeymoon because the whole party and the whole wedding gets sick from the food that they served except for the sister Olive and the best man of the groom because they do not eat whatever it is that makes the people sick for reasons that it mentions in the book and so they basically <clears throat> go on this all paid vacation honeymoon that the groom and bride were supposed to go on and they pretend to be the groom and the bride and it just goes from there with hilarious commentary little antics things that happen that just keep pushing them together when they're trying to stay apart because they don't like each other and it's just a great little story and so fun to listen to as well so definitely recommend that if you like the kind of enemies to lovers type thing. It did scare me like in the middle because I didn't know what was going to happen and I'm like I want this to happen but anyways. That's all I'm going to say about that book. <clears throat> the next one that I listened to was J.R. Ward's Dark, Dark Lover which is the first book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series which I've seen around so much and I've always wanted to read it read the book because I'm in one of the Facebook groups and I've never read the books so I finally decided I saw it on Scribd and I'm like I'm gonna read it so I read it and oh my god you guys so steamy and vampires and just everything about it just sucked me in so the first book is about the king of the vampire clan and he falls for this human who they who belongs to one of the vampires that die it's their daughter so they're trying to protect her because they know what she might become and she's got to go through the change and it's kind of their story together so yeah def definitely steamy books it, this series has like more than like probably 15 books in it and each book is about a specific vampire and their um, special person so yeah um, definitely enjoyed that one and the other book that I don't have that I'll listen to was boyfriend material and I think it was by Alexis Hall if I'm not mistaken and this one was about two guys who kind of fall together in love. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while since I've read it. But I know it was a male on male romance and it was just adorable and cute. It's kind of got the, um, I think it was like they were 
part of like the American president's son or something. I can't remember exactly. I'm so bad. It's one way I really enjoyed the book and I can't remember. But yeah, it was adorable and just the characters were so cute together. So that's that. And I feel like I'm just like going on and on about stuff. So we'll get on with the books that I do have, which is so take that one. Now, there is one in the stack that, while it was just like so, um, it was so fucking messed up and screwed up and everything that happened to the characters was just like, wow, why, why is this happening? Like, I think I did a book talk on this book and said this was probably the most fucked up book I have read but in a weird way it was interesting to me so I guess that's why it's kind of on this list and it's just like the horrifying stuff that these kids went through and just oh my god I could not imagine it like so we're gonna get with that on with that book and that was The Lost by Natasha Preston this is kind of like a thriller and like I said, I know this is a weird, probably a weird book. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. To put on my nine best surprising books I've read because of the contents of it. And let me, let me tell you, if you don't like torture and just horrible stuff all the way around, you probably won't like this book. But the stuff they had in Door, I can like. It was, I don't know, just, you wouldn't imagine. So it's basically about these teenagers that keep disappearing in this town. And this girl and her friend want to investigate it. And then they get caught up in the disappearance and they get taken to the place where these kids are. And they find out what's happening to them and they go through, like I said, these horrible little obstacles and have to live through them and it's just like I don't even know if you want like this really twisted like psychological I guess kind of thrillerish book like you're okay with the gore and the torture and stuff this is definitely a book that I would recommend for that it's just like like, I can't even stop thinking about it and the stuff. So, yes. But, and I will try to leave the link below of the book talk if I'm not sure. I don't know if I've uploaded it or not, but anyways, we'll see. The next book I chose was Harley in the Sky by Akimi Don Bowman, which I freaking adored. I loved because it was so... To me, it was so relatable, like, the stuff that the main character went through. This is a kind of like a circus novel, er, and the main character wants to become like this trapeze artist, and her parents own this circus, but they won't let her perform there if I'm not mistaken. And so she decides she's going to go off on her own and go join another circus and become or try to become this trapeze person this aerialist and it's just really I just I don't know it just touched me I loved the characters and like the stuff that she went through like I can remember I believe I have a book talk for this so I will definitely try to leave that link down below but if I I remember her like the way the main character felt is how I sometimes feel like there's this thought of you like breaking into pieces and just being kind of torn and I don't know there was just something about it that I really connected with so that's why that one's on here 
And the next one I chose was Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This is just a book contemporary that's pretty much about a renaissance fair and these two characters who start off not liking each other as well and kind of maybe trying to make it work and I guess that's part of my tropes that I like. I like the enemies to lovers and that kind of thing going on and so if you like the rena the stuff about affairs and the renaissance this is definitely that cute book for you probably. The next one is Roll by Treat Crownover. This is the first book in the Marked Men novels. It's like a kind of a contemporary new adult book and there's tons of these. I think there's like six of these books and then there's spin-off series to this series but I've read all six of them and I adored them. They're each about a different marked men who they're all friends and it's about them and their friend, their their spouses, or not spouses, but their significant others. And I couldn't put all of them on here, so I just chose the first one because he's the one that started my love. And this is Rule. And so it's about Rule kind of falling in love with a long time friend of his who was actually his deceased brother's girlfriend and her name was Shaw but it's kind of their story and how they go together and it has so many like friends of his and people of his and just all the characters I loved pretty much. I don't know if there's not one I didn't really care for. And, um, but yeah. And they're all tattooed and got piercings. And so if you love that and guys and stories, this series is definitely one I would recommend for that. And these books I read on because I saw Chelsea <clears throat> talk about them in one of her hauls or book hauls and yeah so oh my god love them so yeah even marked it I don't know why I marked it where did it mark I have a book talk I don't think it's up yet about this one and I don't so Ignore that if you can hear it. It's someone vacuuming. The next book that I chose was The Midnight Library by Matt Hay. And this is a book that I got from Once Upon a Book Club book box and probably not one I would have picked for myself had it not come in a box for free. And oh my god, just I loved it. Um, it's basically about this girl who is depressed, suicidal. She ends up um, killing herself and falling into this midnight library thing that basically gives her chances to live different lives of hers and to show her that there's more to life than wanting to hurt yourself and just each I don't know the story just showed like each life she could have had but Ultimately, you know, it's her choice, so there's that. Definitely recommend it. And then the last book is Incendiary by Zoreta Cordova. And I basically wanted to read this because of the magic in it. And So yeah, it's just got that type of magic X-Men-ish, like, 
um, oh, my brain is hurting, sorry, uh, like trope that I like in my magic books. So definitely like this one. Again, I think I have a book talk for this one as well. But so I will try to leave those down below. But this one is about a girl who can still like okay, I can't completely remember. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while since I read this. Like, I think when she touches people or something, she sees their lives and takes those lives from them, those memories from them. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's what this one is. And those are my top nine books. Let me know what you thought, if you liked any of those. And I will definitely see you guys next time. And if you haven't, check out my top nine disappointing books of 2020. And, yeah. Bye, guys.